It's finally time to talk about Ada Wong and the Separate Ways DLC that we've all been waiting for. We've got an update from the leaker regarding a possible time frame for the highly anticipated Separate Ways DLC to go through. But for a refresher and for those not in the know, the Separate Ways folder was found in Resident Evil 4 Remake's game files when a data mine emerged shortly after the game was released in March of this year. Separate Ways is the awesome campaign starring Ada Wong in the game's PS2 release that came after the original GameCube game, taking players on a campaign following Ada's events that ran parallel to Leon's story. Let's first take a brief trip back in memory lane as we procure a timeline for the rumors and leaks of this highly requested game mode before we get into the update. We had heard from prominent RE leaker on Twitter, Dusk Golem, that the DLC was in the making and that the mode was going to be, quote, longer and more fleshed out than the original separate ways, end quote. This was a post back in late March, just before the game launched. Well, literally the morning after Resident Evil 4 Remake released, we got an update from user Gosetsu on the Resident Evil Wiki Discord that in the data mine, a file for another order was discovered, along with the now-released Mercenaries mode and the main game under the Chainsaw folder. Well, separate ways as we know it in the English language release of the game is called Another Order in the Japanese release, so suffice to say, this data mine along with the prominent Resident Evil leaker Dusk Golem's claims that Separate Ways was getting worked on as DLC to the game was really getting fans hyped about a remake of this beloved game mode starring Ada Wong. We will be returning to this data mine in just a moment, but I just wanted to update you all about that new post by Dusk Golem, with an update about a possible timeline of when we could know more about this DLC. Again, every time I bring up leaks and rumors, just take this with a heaping grain of salt. Just because rumors and leaks surface doesn't mean anything until we officially hear it directly from Capcom's mouth. So here is the full post from Dusk Golem replying to someone in response to future Resident Evil projects coming this year, as shown here on your screen. It reads as follows. I said this before Resident Evil 4 came out, and a month or so ago, but I wouldn't expect to see Resident Evil 9 this year, and be very surprised if it was revealed this year. Separate Ways DLC for RE4 I do expect to be revealed before this year is up though. It'll be pretty meaty for a DLC too." End quote. So there you have it folks. Do what you want with this rumor or supposed insider knowledge about when Separate Ways will come out, but let's just talk about Resident Evil and potential upcoming projects for a moment. Many of us expected that we would hear something about Resident Evil during Capcom's showcase last week, but we didn't get anything there. This has me thinking that perhaps later this year, possibly this fall around Halloween season, we may get some sort of update on the franchise, and I'm thinking it would be most likely about the Separate Ways DLC coming to Resident Evil 4 Remake. According to Dusk Golem, this DLC is supposed to be pretty meaty, meaning that it may be taking longer for the team assigned to the Separate Ways DLC to complete it, seeing as RE4 Remake's campaign wasn't just a graphical and gameplay facelift, but was rather a reimagined remake of the original campaign. Seeing as we already got Resident Evil 4 Remake this year along with the short but sweet Mercenaries mode for it, I think this is probably it as far as Resident Evil releases are concerned for 2023. 2024 will be another story, as it is highly likely that this Separate Ways DLC will be released that year, along with perhaps a reveal trailer of Resident Evil 9 that may be released in 2025. That's just my hunch, but again, let me know what you think about this update from Dusk Golem. I know many of you do not trust rumors and leaks at all, and are convinced Separate Ways DLC will never happen, and I get that. I also know there are many of you out there that believe that we will get this DLC, so go ahead and chime in the comments about your thoughts on this update to Separate Ways, and even RE9 for that matter. But we aren't done yet. Remember what I said earlier about that data mine? Well yeah, we are going to go back to it, because I believe there may be a bit more going on with this supposed Separate Ways DLC than we may know. Taking a look back at the Mercenaries folder uncovered in the data mine, it appears that what we got in April 7th's release of the Mercenaries was not the full content that was mined within the files. 
The three maps we got, the village, the castle, and the island, were supposedly not the only maps that were in the game's files, because the map called the docks was missing from the bunch. We can tell with a high probability that this map could be coming at some point and that development was or still is ongoing with the map, because the descriptions of the data mine maps all align to the word with the ones present in the Mercenaries DLC. To add, the original release of Resident Evil 4 also contained four maps, with Waterworld being the only one missing in Resident Evil 4 Remake's Mercenaries, which according to the map's file, is named The Docks. And that's not all. The game's files also point to a few characters missing from the remake's Mercenaries mode, being Albert Wesker, Ada Wong and her two costumes, and Leon S. Kennedy's alternate pinstripe costume and loadout. I believe all of this, the characters, and the map will be added to the Mercenaries mode when Ada's Separate Ways DLC becomes available. Dusk Golem's quote, pretty meaty speculation about the size of the Separate Ways DLC makes me think that this Mercenaries mode content that was included within the game's files could contribute to the large Separate Ways DLC that may come ahead. Of course, that goes without saying that the campaign of Separate Ways will likely be greatly expanded upon in the remake, and not just a beat-by-beat run-through of the original campaign. Like Resident Evil 4 Remake to the original game, the campaign could be receiving some more content in the form of side quests that reward the player with exclusive gear and upgrades for Ada, along with a more expanded campaign. Areas that were not featured as playable in the remake, like mainly the village gondolas here that we could see off in the distance in Leon's campaign by the villa, and perhaps a showdown with that other U3 that went incognito during the later part of the remake's campaign, could all be featured here in an updated Separate Ways campaign. That goes without saying that the original game also contained a mode called Assignment Ada, which was a non-canon mode that took place on the island section of the game. Perhaps a reworking of elements of this mode into the remake's Separate Ways campaign could be done here to preserve some of that mode's content. Really, who knows? Other than we will finally be able to play as Ada, with updated controls that are consistent with the gameplay improvements made to Leon's gameplay in the main campaign, and a story similar to that of the original Separate Ways mode. Regardless, I can't wait to hear more about this upcoming mode, and again, I have to say, take all of this with heaping grains of salt. We do not have solid evidence from Capcom themselves that this mode is even coming, even though I strongly believe it will. What you do with my thoughts, the data mines, and Dusk Golem's words are all yours to interpret, so with that being said, knock yourself out and write your thoughts in the comments, as you all know how to make some lively discussions surrounding future RE projects. If you're itching for some awesome lore, consider looking at this video I did of U3 and the mystery surrounding these twisted creations in the remake. And I look forward to seeing you all real soon in the next one. Peace!